cuisine. Whether you come for the Asian-inspired cuisine, extensive wine list, or revolving room, you're in for an unforgettable experience. So let's go behind the burner and meet the chef. Mongolian grilled lamb chop that we serve with our warm Hunang glaze eggplant salad. It's one of our most popular things on the menu and it's actually pretty easy to make at home, especially with barbecue season coming in sound. So when you buy lamb, you want to go to your butcher and you want to ask for a rack of spring lamb or young lamb, not mutton. There's a big difference in flavor there. Okay. And you want to ask for the rack to be French and that means that they're going to take off all of the tissue that's in between the bones for you. So it's a little bit cleaner and it presents a little more nicely. You gotta take off what they call the cap. It's a big slab of fat up here. So make sure you have a good, sharp kitchen knife. And take this whole thing out, because all it is is really just fat that's gonna make the lamb not taste so great. I personally like to roast whole racks of lamb because it, it keeps it a little bit more moist, a little bit more juicy, clean up the bones a little bit. If you wanna really take your knife and get in here and scrape them all off, you can. And if you wanna get a little bit of that off, um, just so it doesn't burn and it presents a little bit more nicely. What I like to do is take tin foil and wrap each of the bones, because this way they're not gonna burn when you put them on the grill. So you'll get nice, white, pretty bones out of it. And the silver skin is literally silver. And it's <laughs> on the outside of the muscle. It encases the muscle. It just makes your meat a little bit more tender. We're gonna make a little bit of an Asian marinade. At the restaurant, marinade in mushroom soy and mirin, and mirin is a sweet, rice cooking wine. It's mushroom uh, soy. Mushroom I picked soy. a dark flavored soy here. It's got a little bit more flavor than like a light pecan soy normally would. I'm gonna grab a fancy container that already had some marinade in it. Perfect. Just throw that in there. And we're just gonna throw that in. So I'm just gonna pour that all over. And I'm gonna be very careful not to get any of the marinade on the bones. So I'm gonna let this marinate for at least a half an hour. So once we've got that all marinated, and we're going to salt and pepper it before it goes on the grill. We're going to lay it down with the fat cap first. Because we want to render all of that fat out. It kind of creates that crispy, almost bacon-like texture. But you want to be able to have, you know, a slower cooking time so it grows. The most important thing you can do with this step is touch it. I know. Like 10 minutes. Um, you want to take the tin foil off nice. while the meat's hot. We're going to put all of the egg in there. And it starts bubbling away. So I'm using peanut oil. I'm using peanut oil because peanut oil has a very high smoke point. I've got some garlic here. This is just raw garlic that I've sliced really thinly. You can use a knife, you can use a mandolin. You want to have that kind of roasty flavor for it. And then I've got some shaoxing. Shaoxing is a Chinese cooking wine. It's also pretty potent, so you want to make sure that you're not adding it on the flame because it will start on fire. It'll flame up. Yeah. I'm going to add rice vinegar. Mizuna works really well with this, a nice spicy green, maybe arugula. It's whatever you got around you that you love. I'm gonna put the warm eggplant right on top of the greens, and I'm gonna not be scared to put some of that sauce on there too, because that's gonna end up kind of being our vinaigrette. You want all that like garlic, salad. you want all that chili, you want all that good stuff. The way that you cut a lamb rack is to go right between the bones here, and sometimes you're gonna hit off to the side, so you gotta kind of cut it at an angle. I'm gonna give people a double chop. So I'm gonna cut straight down. You just melt some butter with a couple of cloves of whole garlic in there. You can put this in your fridge and keep it there forever. And every time you grill something on, on the grill, cut a steak open, hit it with a little bit of this garlic butter, you'll blow people's minds. The finishing touch, the Stuart Weitzman shoes, right? The fleur de sel on top. And then the sauce that we serve this with at the restaurant is our cilantro mint vinaigrette, and that recipe can be found on your website. And then the cilantro mint with the lamb is so great. You get a little bit of the nuttiness of the cashews that are in there, the lamb, which is pretty subtle and very tender. 
and then you've got a lot of the mint going on, but the cilantro kind of gives it that unexpected punch that you weren't used to with the lamb, you know, and mint jelly that we probably all grew up on. Sarah, cheers. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you us. so much for having us. It's great to meet you. Stay tuned to Behind the Burner, where we give you the tips, tricks, and techniques that are lighting the culinary world on fire.